Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we made our way through the rest of Daffodil Peak, getting both mini paint stars, finding another one of the chosen key toads for the Crimson Tower, and finding out what has happened in Sun Glow Ridge with a giant gate that is locked and paintless. But we also found the last of Rescue Squad Purple, so let's head back to Ruddy Road. Find out what they're gonna help us with. Mainly grabbing that mini paint star, but there's something much more important than that darn mini paint star that we need to collect. So let's head straight over there. And my goodness, this I can't get over how nice this music is. It's so happy and cheerful. Great start to the journey. But this time, we're not just checking out what the paint what the mini paint star here is hiding. We are going to make our final preparations for the Crimson Tower. Our first big paints are hiding in there, so let's do this. Roll call! One, two, three. All purple squaddies pre present and accounted for. Yeah, only because Mario caught them slacking off. Uh, yes. And it looks like we need to help out Mario now. Purple Rescue Toads, commence operation, STEP IT UP! You're on, Mario! Um, do I hammer them? STOP! Um, uh, do I jump on them? Ah, oh, that works. Mission accomplished! Mario, you should be able to scale the cliff now. Go for it! One, two, three! Leader! Captain, I mean. Anyway, looks like we've got a thing just buried in the ground there. But before I grab that, I want to head over here. Get the last colorless spot being this toad here. Oh, Mario, you restored my color. Thanks so much. I've got to run. Places to be. Good luck out there. That toad, I believe, is heading off to the old hangout spot in Port Prisma, but he might not appear there until after the first big paint star. But I'll show it off after that level anyway. Anyway, let's pull hard! Squeeze! You got fire extinguisher! Exhales a torrent of CO2 that can quell any flame. Awesome! Now if I just grab this mini paint star, that is it for Ruddy Road. And that should be 100% for Ruddy Road as well. I will be annoyed if it isn't because I already have one level I have to clean up. But next destination will be Blue Bay Beach! Please show me the flag. Please show me the flag. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay, gotta get 100% of the colorless spots. The colorization. Anyway, Blue Bay Beach. And now this time I recommend you have the fan as shown on screen. Not like la last time we were here. As we will need the fan thing in order to do something. Hey Mario, that ship that sets out from the dock got shipwrecked. Huh? The blue toad was going to sail to the end of the world? Let's go check it out. Okay, and right o I don't remember there being cheap clips that last time. And... Oh... Uh, you didn't... Hmm... Let's see if we can do anything. He made such a big show of setting off and then he went and wrecked his ship first thing. I'm going to the edge of the world. <laughs> this isn't even the edge of Blue Bay Beach! He's probably too embarrassed to go back home. I would be. At least his sail isn't ripped. If he got some wind, he'd probably start moving again. It would be awkward to come back, but what choice does he have? Well, if we move up here, that rock formation in the back... What? I've never seen that before. Guess that's what happens if you walk all the way up. But the rock formation in the back seems to have shifted somehow to make a nice rectangular formation which is perfect for a cutout. 
So let's pop our fan in there, which means scrolling all the way to the left of the gamepad, my goodness. And using our fan card. Now, if you use the fan replica card, much like any other card that isn't the fan, it will fail. So don't use replica cards, you need the real deal. For a second I thought you were going to eat her, but you rode that wave like a champ! Hey, that was pretty cool, huh? That's it! I found my destiny! I'm the greatest surfer in the history of forever! Relax guys, you act like you've never met a surf legend before. Being a surf legend, you just stopped a giant wave in his tracks! No mere surfer can do that! And check out the shape of your noggin! Say, come to think of it, there's a hole in the gate to the Crimson Tower that looks like it was made for your dome. And it just so happens we're trying to get into the Crimson Tower to find a big paint star. Do you think you can help us? Wait, I'm confused. Should I stick to surfing or not? Whatever, I can't swim anyway, but you said my head might fit the gate to the Crimson Tower? Of course! How did I not see it before? Legend has it there are three chosen toads who are meant to guard or open that sacred gate. Until this very moment, I never knew what to do with my life or my oddly shaped head, but it all makes sense now. I'm one of the chosen toads and my destiny is to open the gate to the Crimson Tower. <laughs> He didn't need to journey to the end of the world after all. He just needed to look inside himself. Oh, Huey, giving us morals. Oh, I don't care about your stinking morals. I'm gonna spend the next hour here looking for that one colorless spot that, that I seem to have missed. I'll see you guys when I find it then, I guess. Yay. Um, that's... A different replica card than last time, but I guess I'll take it. We got the fire extinguisher replica. Wait. Wow. What a wave. That actually is a pretty cool view now. I I have to admit that. Ah, I, f I missed two of How did I miss both of these? Anyway, get both. getting both of these, I believe that will be 100%. So we are now done here in Blue Bay Beach. Please. Please be 100%. Yes! Okay, that didn't actually take me too long. Anyway, with that, I believe we're on to... Port Prisma to make our final preparations before the Crimson Tower. Also, we've had that letter sitting in the post office for quite a while, so I think I might check that out. Also, this toad will tell us if there's any new things, but it's impossible to tell if there's any new things. So I'm not even gonna bother seeing, ever. But, also very important, I didn't bring this up last time. If there are new cards in the shop, this toad will be jumping up and down. And we'll talk to you like that. So, I think now's a great time to properly check out the shop, because I haven't done that properly yet. Starting off, I don't want to buy any cards because I have like 81 cards or something. And I need to sell a few. Also, 
Interesting to note, the replica cards. If I was to sell the fire extinguisher, I would get one coin. The game does not like you selling thing cards at all, even though they are so darn good. Replica cards, on the other hand, you might think they don't have a purpose, that they suck and then inferior in every way. But, as well as them being good to use in normal battles, they are good to sell. I get 50 coins from replica cards if I want to sell them. Which is tons. Anyway, I'm gonna get 698 coins from that. But now it's time to buy coins. It's great. Buy coins? I'd love to buy money, yes. No, it's great. You can see how many cards you have in stock here. You don't happen to have any big cards, do you? I think I'll just get a normal ice flower and leave it there then. You really don't have much that I want to buy, because we've already got pretty much everything you have on the menu. Anyway, time to check out our letter that's... Wait, why are you jumping up and down? I talked to you. Yeah, do you just keep jumping or say this? I swear, if there's new cards since I went in there, I'm gonna be annoyed. No. Maybe it's just because I left the area and came back. No, that's... Oh, it must be because I've stacked multiple areas on it. Also, you may have noticed that post office sign was actually glowing red because we have some mail. Hey Mario, great timing, you've got a new mail. Mr. Mario, thank you for showing me your illustrious card collection the other day. Since you possess such a magnificent collection, I was wondering if you might help me out with something. I await you in the Action Command Dojo in the Yellow District, the Card Connoisseur Toad. And here's another new letter, exciting. Hey up big bro, it's a Luigi again. You know, your brother with the L on his hat. You, ne you ever read uh, the explanations on uh, your thing cards? I know you're not the type to read directions, but you might find a hint when you to use them. Remember, you can always reread old letters by opening up the menu. Thank you, Mr. Postmaster General, or whatever your name is. Anyway, that tongue's still looking a bit down. But with that, that toad connoisseur, he is very important, and I didn't actually think he would be a thing until after the Crimson Tower. Now, I actually have all the things except for the fan still, but we don't need the fan anytime soon, so I won't visit the ringer. The know-it-all toad will tell us that it would be great to have the fire extinguisher, although we already have that. Now, as you can see up here as well, I'll show this off after the Crimson Tower, just more things to get excited about, guys. The plant has started growing a bit more up in the old hangout spot. That happened since we rescued that red toad. Some weirdo suddenly appeared and he won't get out of the way. Creep. E. Ah, uh, Mario. How splendid that you had the good sense to entertain my offer. Follow me, please. Come this way. Wait, a secret door? What's with all this high-tech stuff just sitting around in a crummy storage room? This is weird, Mario, but I'm thinking it could be a good weird. Let's check it out. I highly recommend you do this. I've spent long years of my life designing and constructing this place in order to document the history and culture of Prism Island. Welcome, friends, to a little place that I like to call... Prisma Museum! An underground museum? This must be one of those super snobby art places that no one knows about. Au contraire, my friend. My mission is to make our collection as accessible as possible. Even a common undergraduate art student should be able to appreciate it. There's just one tiny thing. I don't actually have anything to display as of yet. And having seen your collection of battle cards, my dear Mario, I feel we would be in rather good hands if you chose to donate. Sounds like it's for a good cause. Plus, poor Prisma is my hometown. It'd be nice to visit the museum when I'm old and reminisce about our adventure. Splendid! I knew I could count on someone with such fine taste in battle cards. With that, please allow me to give you the grand tour. 
The three do the three blue doors in front of you are get hard get there. From left to right, the blue doors contain basic cards, enemy cards, and theme cards. If you have any cards that you can donate to a room, the star above the door will light up. To donate a card, simply go in, follow the toad's instructions. Moving on, the red door to the left leads to the art exhibit. The more cards you donate, the more pieces we'll be able to add to each exhibit. Finally, the green door to the right leads to the sound exhibit. You'll be able to populate it with sounds by completely repainting sound courses. Not sound, just courses in general. And ask for more information, I can't thank you enough for your assistance, take care. My my, you've been busy with the old pain hammer, haven't you? Well, don't think we haven't noticed, thanks to your fine efforts. We've been able to procure some records for the sound gallery. Every time you come in here after getting 100% of colourless spots filled in, he will say that, which is a bit tedious. But I want to check out this room first, because it is my favourite room. Down on the gamepad, I didn't think this was on the gamepad, you can see each level in the game in order of their corresponding colours. So all the red levels, then all the blue, then all the yellow, and so on. Four prismas right on top. And you can listen to the tunes. It's basically a very organised and neat little sound test. It is... Fantastic. Of course, you can't leave it playing when you run around, which kind of sucks. But they don't loop either. I believe they play continuously from one to the next. Anyway, they're very interesting. A lot more in the museum, especially the art exhibits, only becomes available once you finish the game. But I think it's time to start donating cards. Now I'm going to donate every card that I currently have. So it might have been best to go to the shop after doing this, but when donating cards, it will show you all the cards you have, but only one of each card, and the cards that can be donated too. Colorless cards will automatically get filled in like the ones I just put up there. All of these are already colored in though. So it might be worth keeping, say, a uncolored worn out hammer as opposed to a colored in one if you're planning on leaving it in the museum. For this reason, I never recommend using thing cards in battles unless you get duplicates or using enemy cards in battles, again, unless you get duplicates. Always hold on to at least one of every card, but I'm gonna show you all the cards in the game anyway. If you use a thing card, you can always just go down to the harbour to see the ringer, where you can buy some card, some things off him and then just bring him right back here. Now, the enemy cards, though, this is easily the worst section of the museum. You're not going to be close to finishing this until you finish the game. On top of that, it sucks. It's random chance that these drop. There's, no, there's almost no guaranteed drops. There are some, and boy are they helpful, but you're going to take a while. Again, don't bother going for them until you finish the game though, because your chances increase the further in the game you get. Even more so once you finish the game. I'll give you more help about that later. Once we see a certain event, that is also random. You might have seen it already, but I certainly haven't. Anyway, I'll pop my three thing cards in here. I don't have the fan to put in here, but I'll save that for another visit. Anyway, when you donate cards to the museum, you can also select each card and check out the details. You can also do a test of the thing. So we have some Goombas with us. We have one card. So let's have the card ready, paint the card, and play it. The best thing about testing these cards is finding out the action command. So I'm going to mash here. And I am going to talk over this because we will be seeing this probably in the next episode, actually, as it is needed in the Crimson Tower. So mashing doesn't work for the fire extinguisher. That's because this is a well-timed button press, I believe. But that deals damage to all the enemies, and I won. Nice. Other cards, however, other thing cards, 
don't necessarily deal damage. If I use the lemon, I believe it does something else. Painting that in. Let's have a go. And I actually don't know any action commands, so I'm just matching for all of them first. Okay, that did just kill them. I don't know if that's part of the test or not. You can also view the thing itself in full 3D! My goodness, that looks amazing. Anyway, that's probably the best part of seeing the cards in the museum. The details for each card you get when you collect the thing cards anyway, but you can also check them at any time when you select a card for battle by hitting the name of the card on the bottom where a little arrow is appearing. But with that kind of drawn out explanation of the museum, I originally intended to just show off it was there and not donate anything. But with that guys, we have finished our preparations for the Crimson Tower. Next time we will begin to ascend it. And hopefully, I don't think I should need to split the level. We will collect our first big paint star. So with that, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>